we'll now find an equation of a line. We're given that the point 4, negative 1 is on the line, and we're also told that the line is parallel to the line x minus 2y equals 5. In order to find an equation of a line, we need to know a point on the line and the slope of the line. Well, we're given a point on the line, but at first glance it doesn't appear that we're given the slope of the line until we remember that if we know the line is parallel to this line, it has to have the same slope as this line. So if we find the slope of this line, we will know the slope of the line we're trying to find an equation for. So let's start by solving x minus 2y equals 5 for y in order to determine the slope of this line. At, in subtracting x from both sides, we have negative 2y equals the opposite of x plus 5. Dividing by negative 2, we have y equals. Now the opposite of x divided by negative 2 will give us x over 2, or 1 half x. 5 divided by negative 2 will be, give us negative 5 halves. The slope of this line is 1 half. Since we are looking for a line parallel to this line, the slope of the line we want to find is also 1 half. So now we know the slope of the line we're looking for and a point on the line we're looking for. We can find the equation of this line using two methods, and we'll show both of them. If you're taking a test and you remember two ways to do a problem and you have time, if you do it two different ways and get the same answer, it proves to be a good check of your work. So let's start by using the point-slope form of a line, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. We know the slope is 1 half, and we know the point that's given is 4, negative 1. We substitute 1 half for m, 4 for x sub 1, and negative 1 for y sub 1. So we have y minus negative 1 equals 1 half times x minus 4. And I'm left with x and y as the variables. This is an equation of the line, and now we'll write it in slope-intercept form. We have y plus 1 equals 1 half times x, or 1 half x, minus 1 half times 4, or 2. Subtracting 1 on both sides, we end up with y equals 1 half x minus 3. And we have an equation of the line. Let's do this a second way and see if we get the same answer. And we'll use the slope-intercept form. And that is y equals mx plus b. Again, we know that the slope of the line is 1 half and a point on the line is 4, negative 1. We can substitute 1 half directly for m, but we don't know b. However, we do know that this point is on the line, so this has to be true when x is 4 and y is negative 1. So I'm going to substitute negative 1 for y, 1 half for m, 4 for x, and solve for what b must be. This gives me 1 half equals 2 plus b. Subtracting 2 from both sides gives me negative 3 equals b. Now I can substitute 1 half for m and negative 3 for b and get the equation of the line y equals 1 half x minus 3. Since this is the same equation I got using the other method, I have a good check and I can state that an equation of the line we're looking for is y equals 1 half x minus 3.